in this how to we are going to learn that how to select multiple records from the grid view and retrieve selected records value and this is particularly useful in case you want to uh, list uh, many records uh, on the web page and you want uh, your user to select multiple records and perform certain action for example you want user to select multiple records and delete those records in that kind of scenario you can use uh, this approach so in order to d uh, demonstrate this approach what i have done is that i have uh, uh, i have placed one grid view on my aspx page and then we have a button so let me show you how it is looking like so here is my grid view as you can see okay now in this let me show you explain what is in this grid view this grid view has a uh, auto generated column equal to false so that uh, uh, based on the data source the column will not get generated automatically currently what was happening is that all the columns were are generated automatically i was not explicitly mentioning the columns but in in ca in this case i want uh, a specific column to be generated and in the way we want so that's why i have uh, set auto generate uh, columns equal to false and when we will make auto generate columns equal to false then we will have to explicitly uh, uh, write the columns that we want to uh, display in in the grid view and then we have written allow paging equal to true that will basically allow uh, uh, to do pagination and data key names equal to auto id and on page index changing means when the page number will be clicked then paginate the data server side method will fire and here we have also written enable persistent selection equal to true there is no need of is because we are not going to use it however just keep it as it is and uh, then we have written page size equal to 5 it means that in, in one page i want to display 5 records and pager setting uh, mode equal to i have written numeric now because i have written auto generated columns equal to false so i will have to explicitly mention the column name i want uh, to appear in the grid view so for that what i have done is that i have uh, kept one checkbox so that i will enable i will give uh, option to the user to check the checkbox for that particular record in the in the grid view so for that purpose i have kept one uh, template field and its header text is select and then in the item template you can see here item template i have specified the uh, asp checkbox and run it equal to server then uh, we have <coughs> uh, uh, written the bound field whose header text is auto id and, and the data field to use is auto id from the data source similarly for first name and for last name and for is active also we have done is active was nothing but the active uh, column of the database it means that this column there was uh, bit type so i have written if it is uh, true then write yes and then we have a button uh, called get selected records and on click of the button we will execute server side method called get selected records now let me uh, uh, go ahead and write some uh, server side code so here is my server side code uh, let me just write it down so i'm here and then from here again i am coming pasting till here okay so fine now looks like we are almost there this little more is left okay fine so this and uh, it will come basically here and then it will come here now let me align the code so that it will look nice and this okay now let's go ahead and see from the top of the page what is written in this page we have a connection string being retrieved from the web config file and if this is not post back then we are uh, uh, calling the get data method now let us see what is in the get data method in this get data method we have instanced the data table and then sql connection sql command and data adapter and when filled filled the record into the data table and specified the data source of the data uh, of the grid view to the data table fine so this will simply populate the records into the grid view now let me run this page 
and first let us close the existing page and let me run this page again so here is my page you can see that the first column is coming as the checkbox because I had specified this as a checkbox and the header text was select so that's what the header text is coming here now you can uh, notice that I will be able to check the checkboxes now when I am checking the checkbox and going to the second uh, uh, page and again uh, coming back to the first page you can see that the, the checkbox is not selected means the selection is not being persisted because I am not using the inbuilt mechanism of persisting selection because I have not sele I have not select link here but I have a I have a checkbox and that on check of the checkbox we are not performing any option so uh, in order to persist the selection we will have to uh, add some other mechanism and that we will see in the, uh, the latter uh, video but here uh, what we uh, what we want to do is that whatever record had been selected on the first page when we, we will click the get selected records I want them to be listed on the page so for that purpose what we have done is that on the click of uh, this button we have executed get selected records method and in the get selected records method what we have done is that we have uh, iterated through all the rows of the grid view and then we have tried to find out the uh, checkbox so the checkbox ID is naturally the chk select so using the row of the grid view we have called the find control method and passed the checkbox ID that we want to find out and we have unboxed that to the checkbox and we are checking if the checkbox is checked then write the uh, data key value and the first name of the record so first name we have retrieved using cell row dot sales of 2 because sales of 2 is 0 1 2 so this Brussel in this in this case the first record will be the first record first name will be Brussel uh, so here we have written the auto ID uh, value and the first name value on the page so if three records will be selected means three checkboxes will be selected then we will get uh, the the details of three records on the page so let me just do that so I am I have already selected three records now let me click on get selected records button and you can see that three five six three five six all those records had been uh, uh, selected and written on the page so this was the way to basically uh, get the selected records uh, of the git view and uh, write it on the page you uh, once you have find out the selected records then you can perform any data based operation under this uh, if can if block uh, but here my purpose was just to show that how to get the selected record so that's what i have that's why i have written on the page